inside this little fencing area is where we tried to do our herbs last year and we got parsley. Actually, no, we had more than just parsley. A few things grew, but just not the extent that we want. Um, this used to be a huge garden bed, so I'm just assuming that uh, the, or not garden bed, but flower bed. So I'm just assuming that the flower bed kind of just sucked all the nutrients out of the dirt. So I'm going to use this tool, this little tiller, dig it all up. I'm going to go get some of the cooked horse manure, do a light layer of that, lay down some black matting and uh, pine shaving mulch, and see if I can get this a little bit richer and uh, good to go for when it's time to plant herbs. There's some of the cooked horse manure, and I did do just a very light layer. May or may not hit the garage with some. But just very light layer. I'm going to go out and dive back in there, get it worked in, and uh, get it covered. So I've got, as you can see, one row of black matting, and I started putting um, some of that mulch on. So over here I'm starting my second row of matting. I'm going to roll it out. That should get me up to behind the, the grill here and get some on there. My wheelbarrow is almost empty so I'm going to have to go get more mulch but I'm, I should have enough to go ahead and at least weight down that and then just one more strip. I am keeping that plant and that plant. Those are tulips. I do want to keep those. I had moved the rest of them, but those ones I had obviously missed. So we will go ahead and keep working on this. cooked manure pile right here and then our other manure pile that hasn't been cooked yet. One thing with even just one horse is you have an endless supply of manure. So that's where all that comes from. But then this pile, we were separating the manure and the pine shavings um, from CJ Stahl, but we don't do that anymore. But this is the pile of pine shavings, so this is what I'm using as the mulching for the herb garden. So Mike and I have a utility trailer of stuff that we need to take to the dump and on the bottom of it was more of the black matting so I was able to go ahead and get a strip to fit that area. So I'm going to finish laying it down and uh, get the mulch on top of it. Maybe go ahead and put a little bit of a thicker layer over here and uh, that will be ready until it is time to plant. So there you have it. There's our herb garden prep for this year. So I chopped up the dirt. I put just a very light layer of our cooked horse manure followed by the black matting and then this mulching. Um, I guess we'll just have to see. see. Thank you. See what, what else might grow in here and uh, see how our herbs do. So we will be sure to update once we actually plant something in here. Okay, so to go along with the garden prep that we did the other day, we need to go ahead and get some seeds started in seed trays. So I'm going to get started on that today. And Gracie, are you going to go paint? Yes. You can tell she's already been painting. It's all over her clothes and her face. So Gracie's going to paint, and I'm going to play in dirt. Sound good? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 